Hey guys, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a building system like in the forest. All right, so let's get started. I have just made a new Unity project. And in this new Unity project, the first thing that we are going to do is go to the asset store. And once we are in the asset store, we're going to go search and search for the standard assets. All right, let's just click on the standard assets right here. All right, and you can just import them. The standard assets are for a older U Unity version, so for 2018, I think. So some of the scripts will not be working and there will be some errors, but we're going to fix them right now. All right, so now the Unity standard assets are installed. So now let's go to the console and go clear and we'll see here that we have an arrow. So just click on that and go to project. And here you can see it's from the simple activator menu. So let's just delete that script because we don't need it anyways. Let's go back to the console, clear, and all errors should be fixed. So let's try and go to play and everything is working. All right, perfect. So now what we need to do is let's go to the standard assets. Let's go to characters, first person and prefabs. And let's drag in the FPS controller. We will also, of course, need a plane so we can walk on something. Let's just make it a bit bigger. Let's do 10 by 10. All right, that looks good. And let's see. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now we can start with the actual building script. So we'll just create a new folder and we'll call that scripts. And inside of the folder, we are going to create a new C sharp script and we'll name that building. All right, perfect. Double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. And once we are in Visual Studio, we can go to the top right here and we'll create first a public game object. And we'll just call that building. All right. And we create another public game object. And this time we will call it building to instantiate. instantiate. All right. Just make sure you the first character here is small and the first character here is big because you can't name the class the same as a object. All right. So now we can get rid of that start method here because we'll not need it in this tutorial. And inside of here, no, first we're gonna need a few more things right here because first a bool, we'll call that building mode on then also a ray cast ray uh, where's ray cast hit yeah ray cast hit and we'll just call that hit all right and now we are finished up here so let's go into update and the first thing is we're going to check if build mode is on so for build mode on and if that is true then we are going to set the building active building dot set active and just set that to true. All right. So now we're going to also check if, and this is a bit more complicated, physics, uh, physics and dot raycast and here camera dot main dot transform dot position comma camera dot main dot transform dot forward and then here out hit and we'll set a distance to about 20 because if the player is more than 20 meters away from the place they want to build, they just simply can't. All right, that looks good. Now, inside of here, we want to set the building dot transform dot position 
to the hit oh of course equal to the hit dot point hit dot point point oh yeah spelled that wrong all right here and we'll say we'll make another if statement this time we will check if the player presses the left mouse button so input input dot uh, get key down get key down key code uh, dot mouse zero mouse zero is the left mouse button and if the player presses that then we're going to instantiate our building to instantiate at the position of the hit dot point and the rotation we are just going to say the building dot transform dot rotation all right so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down here and say else if the building mode is not on then we are going to set the building dot set active to false all right that looks good now we only need to set the building mode on and off which we are going to do in update so let's just say if input dot get key down get key down and we're gonna use the key code dot dot let's use a uh, so dot a for building mode on so let's set the building mode on to true and let's use um let's just copy that and let's say if the user presses the key code x then we'll turn it off so fall false all right so now let's go out of here and close visual studio and let's go to our fps controller and down here we're just gonna drag our building script in all right drag it in here now let's deactivate our main camera that is very important and let's go down here to the first person and this tag should definitely be main camera if it isn't automatically you can just change it here this should be main camera all right so now we have our script here we of course need a building and a building to instantiate for that we are going to right click here and create an empty object and we'll call that our building let's just call it wall because we're going to make a wall here all right and let's create a 3d object a cylinder and let's drag it under our wall so that the wall is the parent of the cylinder um and we can just scale that down a bit 2.5 by 0.5 all right um and we just duplicate that five, uh, four times so let's go here 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 and here it doesn't have to look super pretty but i think that should do it now we're going to select all of them and we'll drag them up just about a little bit above the floor all right so now that we have that we can just select the fps controller and drag in our building wall inside of the building now of course we need a building to instantiate so we're going to take that building wall and just drag it in to our assets folder all right so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to make another folder and call that materials and inside of here we want to create a new material and just call that green or however we want and we'll make another one we can call that wood for me it's just going to be a brown material but you can of course add a wood texture too so i'm just gonna make that brown and the green i'm also i'm gonna make green of course and under rendering mode i'm going to set it to 
transparent so that we can use the a value too. All right, so now here, what we want to do is unpack the prefab completely. And let's just go to the sunnier side. All right. And let's drag on the material, the green one. All right, that looks good. One more. Uh, all right. And down here in the building wall, we're going to open that prefab. And we're going to go into our materials again. And this time we're going to use the wooden material. All right, perfect. Now let's just go out of here. And inside of our SPS controller, we want to drag in the building wall to building to instantiate. All right, so that should be it. So let's just test that out real quick. We'll go inside of here and now we're going to press A to activate our building mode. All right, we have a problem here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know why. Because the building is colliding with itself, so it just goes to the player. So what we actually need to do is under here, layer, go ignore raycast and change it to children too. So that should now be working. Let's press A to activate the building mode. And here you can see that we can build stuff. Just left click to build and you can build walls. Perfect, you can also press X to exit the building mode. Now I can just walk around and not build with the left mouse button. But if you press A, you can build. All right, perfect. So that was it for this tutorial. If you want uh, me to make a tutorial series about this, because there are of course many things to add, we need more buildings like fire places or uh, not only walls but also floors and roofs and of course we also need to um, actually like need material to build stuff and yeah there's so many things we can add to this rotating of course too and of course saving so because if we go out and go in again then it's of course not saved so if you want me to do all of these things in a tutorial series, then definitely write it in the comments and I'll make a video series about that. But that was, this, well, that was it for this video. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like if you liked it and I'll see you next time.